Hello everybody, my name is Dennis Jensen and currently the time is around midnight and I'm a bit tired. I was thinking I could do something useful with my time for once. <laughs> so I decided to make a new tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to be about UV mapping hard surface objects. So I got the bicycle from the last tutorials that I modeled and now I'm going to show you how to UV the body of the bike, how to UV map the tire and how to copy paste UV map because our bicycle have a lot of uh, screws on it and I will mod model all the screws so I will show a quick way how you can transfer the UV maps on one screw you, you did you're going to do the UVs and then you can transfer the UVs from one screw to another so you don't have to UV map all of the screws actually um, with that said I will just jump right into the tutorial so I will start by just taking a look, look on uh, the model and this is the model I did you can see I worked a bit uh, more on it just because I think it's uh, nicer to have a finished model and if you do if you look at the wire we can see that all um, the faces are about evenly spread and that's a very nice thing so we won't get a lot of stretching in the texture um, and you can see the screws I was talking about right here yeah so it would be a pain in the ass if we had to UV map all the screws. You could also just UV1, model 1, UV it and then duplicate it. But now I would like to show you how to copy it and stuff. But the first stuff I'm going to show you is a quick way on how to UV map hard surface stuff like this one. And uh, you could do it in one way. Um, let me just isolate this one you see my computer is a bit slow let me just close some programs um, oops sorry mm, yeah okay it's a bit slow anyway you could do like this actually when you create a basic object in uh, in Maya, you will get a UV map. So let's just check it out. This is made from a box, so you can see I got kind of a UV map, but it's not really useful. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each side, and you can see I could do this and pick all the pieces and then make a planner map of it but there's actually a quicker way if you just select the object let me just send up the pivot you can go to create UV and I don't know if you guys know automatic mapping uh, what it does is it creates the UV map on your object and it uses these sites to create the UV map so you will get one UV map from each side and it's actually pretty useful on this stuff because it will take this side and make it one and this side and this side so let's see how it looks so this makes a lot of sense actually and uh, <laughs> what can I say it looks already really nice the only thing we have to do now is to manage it a bit better and to do that I'm gonna select these edges See there's some uh, some 
stuff I need to do because I made all the hard edges. But uh, and now I can just go to uh, my tools and move and sew UV edges. So now this actually doesn't fit that well. So it's a kind of compromise because this has a curve and this won't have a curve. It can get a bit messy, but I think I still you will try to avoid seams. Um, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to try to connect these two pieces. I'm just gonna see how it fits. Yeah, that's not that bad. And these ones, I just press G to uh, make the last um, action I did. If you select one vertex, you can um, hold control and right click and go to shelf. You will select the whole uh, UV set. That's a very nice tool. So you can see this is one object. Um, and I'm going to see if I can make less objects less seams so the smaller amount of uh, parts you divide your um, your UV into the better so move into you hmm. doesn't really want to move that that's a bit weird what about this one I'm not really sure what's happening right now. Okay. Let me try to delete the history and open the UV texture editor. The okay, it's a bit error, I guess. I'm getting. Current selection doesn't match required selection type. Mm. Anyway, you get my point. So you can just uh, keep uh, making this look nice. I'm not sure why it doesn't uh, do it right now. But uh, I guess it's just a small error. Um, I use I'm used to making three um, edges to the edge because if you do this, if you do only have two, when you UV map it and uh, smooth it, it will look a bit crappy on the edges. So what you need to do is actually to have three, and this one last set of faces I got should be attached to the side right here um, just to show you I'm gonna find this one and you can see it goes all the way over and down and I'm gonna open my UV editor I don't want it to be cut here so I'm gonna deselect that and it's gonna be cut in those sides, that's just perfect. I'm gonna go to cut UV edges and it should be fine. So now, if I go to UV control, right click, shelf, I'll get this piece. I can move it out. And what I'm going to do now is to select, oops, this one. 
Oh, the air is uh, in my room is very bad right now. So I'm just gonna select the edge all around it because I'm going to. Um, yeah, okay. I'm gonna do it all around. Just hoping that this <laughs> will work. Um, yeah. Let's cross our fingers. It doesn't work. What if I. Let me just try one side. Hmm. This is very strange. It has not happened to me before this. Um, okay.